Good morning, I'm Dr. Larson. Today we're performing a minimal invasive spine fusion by lateral approach. She has a degenerative disc with retrolisthesis at L4-5 and a disc herniation laterally at L4-5. She's chosen to have us perform the minimally invasive fusion. It's going to be done by first lateral approach and then by percutaneous pedicle screws posteriorly. Once the patient is asleep, EMG electrodes are placed on the patient's legs for safe intraoperative monitoring of the involved nerves. For the, the lateral approach fusion, the patient's positioned on their side, typically on the right side to bring the left side up. They're padded appropriately using the fluoroscopy unit. We identify an entry point to make a, approximately a one inch to one and a half inch incision to go down to the disc space and perform the fusion. Intraoperative imaging and neuromonitoring is used to identify a safe trajectory to the affected disc. Here's the L4-5 disc space. Here's my first dilator positioned at the, the center of the L4-5 disc space. You can see the degenerative disc, the anterior osteophytes, the posterior osteophytes, the collapse. Now we're going to create a working channel over this dilator, safely using monitoring to go through the psoas muscle and prevent any damage to any nerves, and then work on the disc space. Surgery is performed through the lateral access retractor, which is placed over the dilators. This specialized retractor provides safe, minimally invasive exposure of the affected disc space. An intraoperative EMG probe is used to identify a safe entry zone to the disc space. The disc space is opened and then prepared for minimally invasive lateral fusion with specialized surgical instruments. The entire procedure is performed safely under intraoperative fluoroscopy. This is an 8 millimeter trial. These marks tell me what size cage to use. In this case, it's going to be a 50 millimeter cage, 8 millimeter height, and I'll choose the AP dimension. You can see how the disc space has now been distracted open. An appropriate size cage is filled with bone graft material. The cage is then placed into the disc space for minimally invasive lateral fusion. Intraoperative fluoroscopy confirms distraction of the disc space and proper positioning of the cage within the disc space. Here's the AP view. You can see the markings in the cage going across the disc space and the disc space is now stacked open. Here's a lateral view. You can see the same. The disc space is stacked open. There's been indirect decompression posteriorly. You can see these anterior osteophytes have now been separated. So the degenerative disc has been replaced with the prosthetic cage implant. Minimally invasive spine fusion, lateral approach. I'm Dr. Larson. Thank you for watching.